Jack, when you look at this game, there was a lot of games of runs, um, but that fourth quarter kind of stood out for the Wizards and gaining that momentum. What did you see the Wizards' ability to do in that last frame? Yeah, it, um, you know, there was, like you said, so many stretches throughout the course of the game where I don't think we took advantage of the opportunities that we had, whether that was finishing quarters the correct way, uh, whether that was um, just throwing simple passes instead of elaborate passes and complicating things. And so when you don't take advantage of each possession, then you put yourself in a position where there's a little bit more pressure and stress on you in the fourth quarter uh, and you give Washington an extreme amount of credit for really making shots one and then just putting their head down and, and driving us and getting to the paint and getting to the rim so we didn't turn them over tonight uh, we missed free throws um, they played pretty comfortable and we didn't take advantage of the opportunities we had you changed up your starters and some of the rotations what did you see from that starter that starter group and why was it tonight the night that you made that change yeah I guess I, I always um, for the most part keep my word with you guys like uh, uh, I, I told you before the new year it would probably happen and um, um, I think at the first time out the 658 uh, timeout um, uh, we did have a lead at that time uh, finished the quarter uh, even um, and um, really I mean like I told you that the numbers uh, they are what they are um, that group that was previously starting, uh, we weren't getting out to good starts. We were getting out rebounded and uh, was hoping that we'd be able to be so good offensively that it would you know, cover up some of the holes defensively. And uh, it just hasn't, hadn't. And uh, so that's what forced the change. You obviously avoided uh, taking an early hole, which has been a problem. Uh, but then in the fourth quarter, I mean, how vaccine irritating whatever term you might want to use is it that you kept them from getting on running for the most part but you still couldn't get the stops when you needed them in, in the last four minutes three minutes yeah and that's going to be uh that problem will arise again brian uh just because um you know just because you start doesn't mean you're going to finish and just because you finish doesn't make you a non-starter and so uh, we had multiple guys out on the floor in that fourth quarter to try to give us some ability to score and, and stop them. And uh, multiple possessions uh, and down the line, uh, um, their bench really made plays and uh, was re were really good. The DeLon Wright, Advia, that stretch of those guys, Shamit, uh, give them credit for putting us on our heels. Uh, Kispert playing really aggressive. And uh, we... We just couldn't get stops, and a lot of it was man-to-man -man and uh, being able to uh, guard your yard and, and guard the dude in front of you. Jack, you did, you almost, you guys did out-rebound them, but you guys got a lot of offensive rebounds, but again, was it just a matter, like you said, the turnovers at the wrong time, the missed free throws, was it just a matter of just those other things adding up despite yeah, I think there was a timeout, Evan. I think we were up seven, and uh, the message was to l let's you know, really hone in on each possession uh, on both ends of the floor and hopefully push this thing to double digits. And the next thing you know, we're down to. Uh, and so overall, our ability to, um, I don't know, do our jobs every single possession, we're still learning that. And uh, that's a task for this group. We, we got to go into every game with a, a sense of desperation, no matter who we're playing, and um, not be cool and not throw behind the back passes when you don't need to, and uh, take advantage of every single possession. And we're not doing that. I believe you mentioned against the Pistons, they were playing a little bit more desperate early on. Did you get the sense that, from what you're saying, that this Wizards team had a little bit more of that desperation that you want to see from your team? No, I thought they played extremely hard. Uh, even the way they started the game for it to be tied after the first and then uh, for them to finish the, the half the way they did, another concentration level for us where we were in a defense to prevent the exact thing that happened, happened at the end of the uh, half. Uh, so that focus and concentration level was not there f from us. Um, and you pay for it. Uh, I always talk about these are good teams and these are dudes who can score and you give them confidence and ability to have rhythm and you don't break that rhythm and you don't dictate actions then you pay for it and and we did tonight
Chuck, as you mentioned, you guys were able to get to the free throw line, and something that we're not accustomed to seeing is the amount of misses that you guys did have throughout this game. What did you think about what was happening when those guys stepped up to the line and what was kind of going on throughout the entire group? Yeah, it's been interesting, Megan. It's been a couple games for us uh, where we've struggled from the free throw line. So um, hopefully this isn't a trend for us. Uh, the fact that we got to the line was good. But uh, again, when you talk about capitalizing on every opportunity, then we need to make free throws.